Hello everyone. Welcome to the Information Security Project Management session. The agenda of today's session is to clarify information security versus cyber security, review CIA triad model, review purpose, review business landscape versus technical landscape, overview of risk management and control, and finally, project success criteria. So let's dive in. Information security versus cyber security. The main purpose of information security is to protect the user's private information from unauthorized access. So information security is a container and it consists of cyber security, network security, and system security. Information security focus on computer and data security, policy management, and management of information security. Cyber security focus on denial of services and phishing. Network security focused on web security, email security, IP security, and authentication application. System security focused on firewall and network infrastructure, virus and worms and intruders. CIA triad model. Information security revolves around three key principles, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Sometimes three key principles refers to as CIA triad model. So in confidentiality ensures information is inaccessible to unauthorized user, integrity focused on for protecting information and system from being modified by unauthorized people and ensuring data is accurate. Availability ensure authorized users can access information when needed. Let's move on to the purpose. The purpose of information security or cybersecurity project is to implement information security tool and policies to safeguard corporate data enterprise wide. Business landscape slash business driver. So for the simplicity of this presentation, I have a category of three categories, customer requirement, audit requirements, and other. So the customer requirements if one of the example could be audit finding that must be addressed, could be corporate data breach that must be resolved, or it could be PCI, SOX, or PI related information or requirements. On the other hand, audit requirements could be sensitive data object, privileged users, grants slash evokes, failed login, stuff like that and others could be government mandate or it could be regulatory requirements. Those are the high level business driver. Moving on to technical landscape. Now for the simplicity of this presentation, we're just focusing on the technical milestone that including infrastructure readiness, solution design, appliance installation and configuration and solution implementation. For infrastructure readiness, it could be on-premise on -premise or virtual machines, database, application servers, network, firewall, storage, etc. readiness. For solution design, information security to solution architecture, also enterprise solution architecture, data flow diagram, minimal database monitoring requirements, sizing consideration. Those are the high level artifact. For appliance installation, 
at least two appliances, one for central manager and one for collector and two agents. For example, could be one SQL server, or one database server, or could be Oracle server, uh, or it could be Sybase, depends on the organization. And also, what we also want to make sure computer and data security application or tool is being installed. Next one is appliance configuration. That's why we want to make sure the backup, archive, parts, monitor, stuff like that, those are configured properly. For implementation, we want to make sure those functionalities uh, were in place. For data protection, that could be database auto discovery sensitive data finder. Uh, for policy binding, you want to make sure groups, rules, reports, alerts is being generated. Um, also, you want to make sure vulnerability assessment scan results um, are ready. Uh, make sure auditing process were in place. Also, for access management side, make sure we have properly user roles permissions and permissions are defined. So, at least for technical landscape, those are high level uh, milestone that needs to be in place. Moving on to risk management and control. So, this is as per the Institute of Internal Auditors, information security risk and control process should be structured in accordance with the three lines of defense model. Those are first lines of defense, second line of defense, and third line of defense. The first line of defense is refers to risk owners or managers. Those are, this is the function goes to those two categories and usually it refers to operation management. Second line of defense is refers to risk control or compliance. This is a function. And again, this function has limited independence and this report primarily to the management. The third line of defense refers to risk assurance. This is the function. And usually internal auditors plays that role and this function has greater independence and this function reports to the governing body. So let's talk about success criteria. The typical project success criteria included infrastructure readiness, on-premise slash iCloud, information tool installation configuration, use case execution with customer satisfactory result, information security metrics, that could be sensitive data point, vulnerability assessment, scan result, privilege versus non-privilege, user ex users activity, etc. Roles and responsibility metrics, enterprise risk management function, risk management and control. So those are in a high level. Um, now I'd like to a high level, I would say criteria to manage information security project. Also, I would like to thank you for watching this session. If you like this session, please uh, subscribe or give it a thumbs up so I can uh, be encouraged to upload my next video. Thank you everyone.